just like the equity markets, very big moves we've seen in the currency markets. In fact, the rupee gained 3% to close with that very important 48 to the dollar mark at 47.89. But we, what we must remember was this appreciation in the currency came on extremely thin volumes. In fact, it was the highest close for the rupee since December 2008. The initial spike in the currency came on account of traders and corporates actually taking their profits on long dollar positions initiated ahead of the week and of course on expectation of a stable government actually being firm. But through the day, in fact, the latter half of trading saw exporters getting jittery and nervous and actually selling the exporter exposure on expectation that the rupee will head, actually will head stronger. In fact, throughout the day, sporadic FI flows were seen, but nothing dramatic or nothing much to really ride home about. In tomorrow's session, traders are of the opinion that they wouldn't really be surprised if that very important 47 mark against the dollar is broken, clearly an expectation of that FI flows returning back into the markets. Through the day, we did catch up with a few market experts. Here are what their view is on where the rupee is headed in the short to medium term. Uh, other than the domestic uh, price movers, uh, what happens internationally will surely have a bearing on the rupee. Uh, assuming status quo internationally and things do not deteriorate and we do not get any external shocks which are not priced in the market, I would expect the rupee to trend down all the way to levels around 47, 50, 47. Uh, but if you see those shocks, uh, then, then uh, I wouldn't be surprised if you again uh, trend towards 50. Rupee has uh, gained as expected. In fact, the 3% gain, although seems like overdone, I think more uh, in the pipeline. The main reason is that we being a current account uh, deficit economy, for rupee to appreciate we need good uh, offshore flows and also more supplies from exporters in the forward segment. Now the positive sentiment definitely will give a uh, comfort to the market that offshore flows, flows are going to be there and exporters are going to sell forward dollars keeping the demand out.